And as a third option, if you don't have either of those things, uh, watching for today is just as fine as well. All right, so this is a recorded session. As you can see on the top left-hand corner, it's recording right now. Uh, with that said, you guys are gonna need your workbook, like I said, and something to draw with. Or if you don't have either of those things, uh, watching is fine, or a blank sheet of paper is fine as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my camera down to, um, hold on one sec. I'm gonna flip my camera down to the webcam. Here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is the art workbook. Let's just go over what we've gone over so far. Um, so what we've done so far was the following. So we went over uh, the primary and secondary colors, which is great. Uh, and then we filled in this little color wheel. Um, and then what we did, just ignore that page. Um, we talked about mixing the colors and how to make the secondary colors. And then what we didn't know before from first grade we didn't know about the tertiary colors. So tertiary colors are basically when you mix um, secondary colors and primary colors together and you get a whole nother set of colors. So there's about uh, three primary colors. There is about uh, three secondary colors and there's about six, six tertiary colors. If you guys did not know that, I'll just put them down here for right now. So anyways, uh, we learned about that uh, last time. So if I flip over to the next page, we went over this as well. I think this was last week. We learned about warm and cool colors, uh, red, orange, and yellow. So that was uh, two of the primary colors and one secondary. And then we learned about the cool colors, which was two of the secondary and then one of the primary colors. So that was last week. So if you flip your page over to the current page that we're gonna talk about, it's this one right here. So this one is our current page. So flip to this page. This page is called Texture. I'll wait a little bit so you guys can get to this page. Uh, it should look kind of like this. We should have a couple options down here. Um, I did fill out a little bit on the bottom. Um, Mr. Mill? Uh, Marshall, what's up? Um, I don't have my R workbook. That's okay. I, uh, that's okay. I lost a, it. That's okay. If you have a blank sheet of paper, yeah. I'll say it again. Uh, blank sheet of paper will work just as fine today, or if you just want to watch today, Watching is fine with me too. Afra, a uh, last question. What's your question, Afra? Can we use like something to color with? That's fine as well. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get started. So here we go. So it says here, texture is a way something feels. In art, we have two kinds of texture. There's visual texture and there's tactile uh, texture. Visual texture is when you draw texture on an object. Then you show how it would feel to touch it, to make it more lively. So what I mean by that is that if it's like, um, here for instance, here over here on the side, let me just move this thing over. I did this last class. So this is a piece of paper, right? Right here, this is a piece of paper. And it's not technically wood, even though it's made out of wood. But what I did here is that I made it feel like wood by drawing the line to make it look like wood, okay? This is called visual texture, okay? This is called visual texture. However, if I had an actual piece of wood, like an actual piece of wood and you actually saw those lines, that's called tactile texture. So the word tactile means basically when you actually have the object of what it's supposed to be, but visual texture is when it's trying to mimic a feeling of something else. All right, so if we look at these six examples below, right here, we can see what they have here. So the first one, I labeled it number one, is a plank of wood. Number two, it looks like it's supposed to be a blanket. Number three, it looks like it's supposed to be a stone slab. Number four, it's supposed to be a tree. Number five, it looks like it's supposed to be a butterfly. And number six, it looks like it's supposed to be a balloon, which I don't really understand with this lines though. Anyways, with that said, what you're gonna do, either with a pencil, marker, or a pen. Uh, so maybe I should get a pen out instead. Oh, I don't have a pen. I have a pencil though. And what you're gonna do, I want Can you guys to take- Can we use colored pencils? That's fine, that's fine. So what you're gonna do, I want you guys to pick three 
of these textures. Can we use crayon? Yes, guys, got to raise your hand, guys. I don't want to get interrupted. So what you're going to do, I want you guys to pick three of these textures. So I need three of these examples. And I want you guys to do the pattern that they've shown you and try to copy it onto the object. So these textures are all different. So turn this maybe blank slate of like plank of wood into wood by drawing this pattern onto there. Uh, I did half of this tree already from last class. So what I did was I, cod I tried to copy these leaves onto half my tree. So now the tree actually looks like a tree now. So what you're gonna do is pick three of the examples here. And I want you guys to use your writing utensil or coloring utensil, and I want you guys to add texture to it, okay? So do that right now. So again, if you're doing wood, maybe I'd start off with a couple long ovals like this. So like that for now. And then in order to make it look like wood, maybe I will add some horizontal stripes on it like that. So now it looks like wood there. It's it's there. One done. Uh, Bathroom, what's up? Um, I think the one next to the balloon um, is like a net. Yeah, it could be like that too. All right. Uh, and again, if you don't have this worksheet and you chose to do a, a blank sheet of paper, like how some people are, I want to tell you what to do next. So if you're like me, so I'm going to pretend I don't have this packet. Let's get a blank sheet of paper. And then if you just draw like a random square, like how I did over here, you can kind of make your own texture. So I'm turning this little square into wood. You can kind of see how I'm kind of like in the process of turning it into wood. Or maybe I can draw another square maybe. I'll do it in blue. Like that. And then maybe I'll turn it into water by drawing like little waves maybe like this. That looks like water kind of. I don't know. Water's a little bit harder. Or how about another one? Maybe another square. And again, you can do this if you don't have a sheet of paper. Maybe I'll turn this into fish scales to make it feel like fish scales. And I don't want to do the whole thing. There you go. There, now it has texture of fish, fish scales, kind of cool. So again, if you don't have a piece of paper, you can do it on a blank sheet of paper like that. Now, if you are done with the three textures on this side, you can continue to do the other three to finish off this page. So if you were doing the stone one, all you gotta do is add random shapes and then make sure that they're very close together to symbolize stone. So it looks like a stone slab, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, you can do all of them, that's fine. Or this watch is fine. Too. I have a tertiary color, it's red orange. Cool, all right, so with that said, um, if you're done with all six, say, Mr. Mill, I'm done with all six. Using that opposite page where I just drew these three squares, I want you guys to copy me by doing another three squares and try to do your own textures. If you want to invent your own, you can, like how I did with mine. I did scales. Um, if you want to do, like, I don't know, metal. I'm not sure, quite sure how to do metal, but... Maybe I'll do something like this. Here's my square. And then from metal, I'll kind of just do like streaks of light, kind of like that. So it looks like metal. I don't know. Mr. Mel? Yeah, what's up, Bessim? Uh, look at my stone. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks good. What? All right. So you guys are going to complete these two pages here. And again, if you're done with these... Um, if you're done with these uh, six examples right here, you could do more textures on this side. Um, I'm going to flip the page over real quick just to see what's a preview of what to expect next week. And it's shapes. So we're going to be talking about different types of geometric and organic and freeform and natural shapes. That's not until next time. So we're going to just keep working on texture. And if you need to work on some other pages, you can. We are finished early, um, but I'm going to keep you guys here still.
because there's a couple of questions here still. So I'm gonna raise, uh, if you have a question, I'm gonna raise, uh, call on some people here. Looks like Malia has a question, go ahead. Do we do all of the things or just one? Oh, uh, you can do all of them now while you guys wait. I'm a completionist, I like to complete a page. Oh. I'll do the, the rest of my own time. Uh, I see Alyssa's hand up. Thanks for raising your hand. Alyssa, what's your question? Um, during second grade, like after second grade, are we going to have like a free day, like a free like day when we get to draw whatever we want? <laughs> you guys could do that on your own time. I only have you guys for 15 minutes a week. Carson, what's your question? Um, I just wanted to show you something I made. Okay, go ahead. I'd love to see it. I made a little mess. Look. Oh, wow. That's really cool. And I nice can math. even stay on without you holding it. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. All right. It looks like we have... That's fine, Zarya. Bye. Um, so it looks like we only have about uh, two minutes left. I want you guys to try your best to try to finish these texture pages up. Again, if you have some free time, try to invent your own textures on the other side. So with that said, um, if there's any other questions, just raise your hand. I will be stop stopping the recording right about now. So go 